Now, I, I need to tell you about how, how big is social media. I need to give you, I, I, I want to blow your minds, okay? I want to give you a, a, a better sense of how big this is because um, it depends on how you appreciate it. You might be working, using it either in a small way or in a big way, depending on how you appreciate it. Okay. On a global scale, there are, um, well, we have a population of 7.4 billion globally, and internet users are already at 3.4, nearly half. Okay. Active social media users are 2.4 billion. Uh, here's a great opportunity. Um, there are already 4.7 billion people with mobile phones. Okay? Uh, later on, as we look at the Philippine side of the statistics, uh, this will become a bit more uh, significant. And active mobile social users globally is 2.1 billion. Um, Okay. Facebook use by device, uh, so most people use the, um, uh, get their daily dose of Facebook uh, from their mobile phones. Increasingly, uh, you have 1.3 million, a billion people getting their daily dose <laughs> of Facebook from their mobile device. Okay. Uh, so this almost double uh, those who are accessing it through their notebooks or laptops. Okay. So Facebook is very mobile now. You have to be aware of it. Which platform are people using? Uh, by a mile, Facebook is leading. And then uh, followed only by WhatsApp, which is also owned by, by Facebook. So, the red ones are the chat messenger type uh, applications. Um, and then after WhatsApp is F Facebook Messenger. So Facebook is king of social media. Um, after that, there are a number of um, uh, different, mo uh, different platforms that are being used. Twitter is down here. Okay. Uh, there are 1.6 billion people using Facebook and uh, there are only 320 million using Twitter. Okay. So that may, you know, that may influence our decision on which platform do we use. Okay. Time spent on social media, uh, different countries uh, have spent uh, different number of hours on social media and at the top of the list is the Philippines and we spend an average of 3.7 hours per day on social media and I'm sure when people were, be were being interviewed for this they were uh, trying to be you know uh, no, I don't use it too much. I'm just you know using it for three hours. But actually, they probably use it for more hours than they would admit. Okay, but even then, <laughs> we are at the top of the list. 3.7 hours a day. But um, those who are using uh, um, the social media for e-commerce, which means uh, they buy something on the on, online. No? We're we're done here. Uh, only 29 percent of uh, the of adult population used it during the past month. So they may have used it only once. <laughs> um, only a third. No? So hindi pa masyadong sa na is uh, sa uh, uh, paying for something online. Okay, that, so that's. That's a significant point here. Only a third will pay online. Okay. Uh, prepaid, postpaid connection. This is just basically saying 95% um, are on prepaid connections and 5% on postpaid connections. Most of them probably are accessing Facebook on a free plan. 
no? Di ba? So this may have significance on the kind of pose that you will, will give out. Um, so if you have a lot of photos there, it will not show up. Okay? If, if you're targeting the poorest of the poor to see your post, they're on a free plan, they won't see it. Okay? Um, mobile commerce, we're also you know, a bit down here. But uh, they're saying 18% of, of, the, of the population bought something via mobile phones. That's, that's significant. I think it is increasing. Okay. They, they pay for something. They, they're more used to paying for something on their mobile phones. Or something that we need to seriously consider. Uh, today, there are 6.7 billion people with mobile subscriptions versus 4.2 billion with television. <laughs> uh, and their mobile phones are so important that they say, 81% said, I won't leave the house without my smartphone. Uh, I'd give up TV before my smartphone. 55% said that. And almost half said, I give up my computer before my smartphone. So mo the, the mobile phones, uh, uh, the gadget by which they access social media, you know, largely so. Um, th this is so important to them. The, it will never leave their side. In fact, most of you are holding on to your. No, do not. <laughs> okay. Let's go now local. Let's go to the Philippines. Uh, so we have 101 million population, and almost half are active internet users. About five years ago, this is about 30 percent. So we're now almost half. So we're it's growing. Uh, we will see the age uh, uh, distribution later. Almost half, and uh, 48 million are active social media users. Okay? Um, there are 119 mobile connections, more than the population, <laughs> and they're saying um, uh, you have, every person has about two or three mobile phone connections. But the active mobile social users are 41 million. So these are significant numbers. Half, or nearly half, of the population um, are, are very active in social media and a significant part of them are very active using their mobile phones. Um, ownership of digital device, so this may have uh, implications on the, on the use. Uh, those with smartphones, which means they can access social media, 55%. Uh, those who own a computer, 43%. Those who have tablet devices, 24%. Even if we just you know, look at these two figures, there is a significant portion of the Filipino population of them. Time spent on media. Um, the average daily use of the internet via PC or tablet is 5 hours and 12 minutes per day. Average daily use of the internet via mobile phone, 3 hours and 14 minutes a day. Uh, average daily use of social media, most likely Facebook, 3 hours and 42 minutes a day. So on any device, so they when they go out, they use the cell phone. When they get home, they log into the computer. You know, so they, they're practically constantly online. And if you will compare it with average daily television during time, you watch telenovela for only two hours a day. <laughs> and this is not counting watching Eat Bulaga during lunchtime on YouTube. We're not counting it because you now count it on internet use, okay? <laughs> See, who, who watches uh, Eat Bulaga? <laughs> okay, frequency of internet use, 46% um, use it every day, almost half. 
30% said they use it at least once a week. So most likely this has economic reasons. They can't afford the load. They, can, they don't have access uh, to it. But uh, half of those uh, with internet connection will use the internet every day. That's a significant number. So this is about, what, uh, 25 million people using it every day. And five million. Um, total number of active social media users, 48 million. Total number of social users accessing via mobile phone, 41 million. Okay. Uh, in the Philippines, what's, uh, what are they using? Facebook and Facebook Messenger. 26% uh, claim that they use it uh, they, use, they use Facebook. 20% use Facebook Messenger. The rest, Google Plus, Skype, Viber, Twitter is here. It's uh, half of Facebook. Instagram is 12%. Anybody here on LinkedIn? Okay, LinkedIn. Pinterest, WeChat. So if we're going to think of which platforms do you use, as we build our support community, you cannot do away with Facebook. Okay? So that will be our primary uh, social media platform that we'll talk about today. Here's the profile. <clears throat> the 20 to 29 years old uh, has the most number of users on Facebook. 10 million female, 9.7 million male okay in the 30 to 39 range it's only half 48 million uh, 4.8 million female 4.3 million male and then uh, of course uh, those in the 13 to 19 range um, they may have some pocket money that they can contribute to our project so they can also be targeted they can, you, you can also talk to them 6.7 million female, 5.7 million male. Those in the 40 to 49 age, you may just matanda sa akin ng konte. Only 2.2 million among the female and 1.8 million among the male are you know regular users of Facebook. Uh, those in the 50 to 59 year old range, sila dito ang who will admit to be 50 to, uh, okay, uh, my, my hand is also raised, okay. So we're here. <laughs> we're, we're only 1.1 million among the female and 0.8, less than 1 million among the male. Even less so among the 60 plus years old, uh, the senior citizens. So very clearly what we will see here is that the younger, relatively young adults are more active in social media. Uh, so when we talk about what language we use, that what's the tone, what's, uh, what's the appeal, we will have to think in terms of when we, when we imagine a, per, a person in our head, in our minds, the, the person that we're talking with on social media, we have to imagine somebody between 20 to 39 years old, okay? And then we will, we will speak to that person as we develop our message. Okay, uh, mobile penetration, 74%. Um, they use it for messengers, 30%. 26% watch videos on mobile. And 21% uh, use it for mobile banking. So that's significant, 21%. Uh, those who use it on e-commerce, uh, they purchase a product or service online in the past 30 days. 29% actually did that. Um, and uh, they purchased using a mobile device in the past 30 days. 18% said they did so. So these, the numbers are still small in terms of e-commerce, which will be relevant for us because we want them to... Uh, to part with their money for our projects. Um, 
only a percentage of people on social media will be using online media to pay for something, which means to contribute money. Okay. Which means we would have to use other means of receiving money other than online means. That's the implication. Okay. Which means we will still have to go bank to bank, uh, 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 bank to, uh, uh, deposit on, on uh, uh, in a bank, or maybe remittance centers, or maybe uh, Bitcoin, I don't know. <laughs> okay, here's another uh, set of data from Digital Life, from uh, TNS. Um, and co in comparison with the other media, like TV and radio, reading newspaper and magazines, um, 81% said they watch TV every day. 43% said they watch, uh, they listen to the radio every day. Following closely behind, 36% said they access the internet every day. So in terms of media, um, digital media has been gaining ground for the past several years. This has been increasing. Uh, TV is still number one in terms of media use. Radio has been declining as a trend. Slow decline, but it, there, there's a clear downward pattern. Newspaper reading has been on a, on a decline for decades. And so is magazine reading. The only one that is increasing at a relatively fast clip is digital. More and more people year in, year out, are, are getting into uh, the social media. Um, this is how it's cut up in terms of gender and age. And in terms of uh, activity on a daily basis, 28% uh, said they use social media. And here's another significant uh, piece of information. 29% said they access their email every day. 28% on social media, 29% accessing their email every day. So this tells us that email will have to be a significant part of our strategy. Social media is a big part of it, but email will have to be a significant part of our fundraising strategy. Not average number of hours per week on social, 2.8 hours, and on email, 2.5. Uh, uh, and then, um, so this doesn't tell us that uh, uh, they're only using 2.8 hours on social media. This is telling us they're spending 2.8 hours on social activities online. Okay, which means reading uh, your friend's post or posting your photos or uh, uploading your personal videos because you also do other things like you research, you read the news, uh, you look for interesting subjects online and you watch YouTube and you do gaming online. There are other activities and this is a distribution of the time that they use in a week. Okay? But part of that time that you, that you spend online, 2.8 hours of that is used for your personal social activities. And 2.5 hours of that is something that you use for accessing your email account. Okay? They're almost the same. Okay. Uh, in the Philippines, 9.6 hours are spent on your laptop or PC and then 0.4 hours on mobile. So that tells us that even if a lot of people use their mobile phone to access social, they only use it in bursts or in, you know, in a few minutes at a time perhaps. Uh, they, I want to just check on my status update. <laughs> okay, so there's a message here you answer it, and then that's it, okay? 
you put them all together, that's less time than, uh, than the time you use your, uh, uh, your computer to access internet. Because when you're sitting down on your, on your table and you're, there's a computer there, Facebook is open all the time, right? Right? Even if you're doing your work, Facebook is right there, okay? Um, in terms of social connections, compared to the rest of the world, the, the global average number of friends that you have on your social media, average globally 120, and the average number of brands that they are connected with, which means you say Facebook, uh, Facebook page of, a, of an organization or a brand, average of four. Filipinos have more friends, you are more friendly. We have an average of 171 friends on our Facebook accounts. And an average of five brands or we identify ourselves with a, with a Facebook page, five brands, five organizations. We are more friendly and we're more willing to, uh, to be associated with a brand than the rest of the world. Um, we look at the distribution. Um, in the, six, the 21 to 24 year old um, uh, age range, have more friends than usual. They have 298, and they're connected to more brands, nine. 60 to 20 is uh, close behind at 267 friends, and six brands that they're connected with. The 25 to 34 have an average of 187 friends, and six brands that they're connected with. So, you know, the younger you are, the more friends you are who are also on Facebook. Okay. Uh, multitasking, 93% use a smartphone while listening to music, watching TV, using the internet, reading a magazine, playing video games, watching movies, reading a book. Okay? So you're on your smartphone and you're doing several things all at the same time. Um, preferred language, 60% Filipino, 40% English. So in your fundraising campaign, especially if you're talking to a certain group of people who may not really be comfortable speaking in English, it makes sense to have a Tagalog campaign. Okay. Uh, so what are they doing there? Games, music, videos, stickers. Uh, uh, this is about purchasing online. Uh, they, they, 29 percent bought games on their mobile phone. 19 percent bought music, Spotify, iTunes, and then 11 percent bought videos, stickers, <laughs> calls worldwide. Okay, so there, there are certain products that they are comfortable buying online. Donating online may be a bit of a challenge yet, okay? but uh, it, which doesn't mean it's impossible. All we're saying is there has to be an extra motivation for them uh, to, to contribute money online. The trust is a system is already there. About 30% are already using uh, e-commerce or m-commerce. They're paying for something online. So there's no longer an issue of, can I trust this system? Should I part with my money here? No, no. A, a big percentage are already doing it, but not very many are donating money online. Okay? So it's a bit of a challenge, but it's not impossible. You only need to give them a bit more motivation to, to do so. Um, <clears throat> online payments, uh, what platforms are being used? Gcash. PayPal, Smart Money, Pay Cash by Peso Pay, BankNet, online banking is being done, and other payment services, 9%. So there, there have been, uh, there, there are a number of options to use, and all of them can, can be used. You can have several um, um, platforms on your donate page. 
um, dragon pay and peso pay. Uh, I, I think there are a number of issues with uh, with companies like dragon pay and peso pay because it is not very easy to donate money to these systems. Uh, there are cer certain layers of uh, bureaucracy that you need to go through before you get to pay for something online. Sometimes you just, you know, you just give up. So this may not be the ideal method to, to set up. But if your, uh, your community members are very motivated, they will put up with the inconvenience.